Cheers, everybody. <laughs> it's Cody's Sleepy Day. It is Cocktail Friday, our favorite day of the week because we get to unwind from a long week and enjoy the weekend. And what are you doing? Having a martini of cocaine? <laughs> um, so as promised, on Wednesday, we did coffee time with the cask and kettle. Uh, Keurig, what are you doing? Nothing. OK, the, the cask and kettle Keurig coffee. And we said we'd come up with a uh, cocktail form today. And you can go to the cask and kettle webpage and see all the different um, recipes they have. They don't have a lot. And most of them are, um, I don't know, very simple. So we wanted to come up with a different one. Uh, it's not ours. I found this, but I thought it would be really good. If you remember, uh, I had the mint uh, patty coffee, and Cody had the basic Irish cream coffee. These come at 75 proof. And we're going to create something called the Nutty Irishman. It's kind of our own twist on the Nutty Irishman. We're going to do a couple things a little bit different, but we already have our coffee brewed. I have the mint. It smells so good. I have whatever. This smells delicious. Yeah, you have the basic Irish uh, whiskey. And so what we're going to do in the Nutty Professor, the Nutty Professor. <laughs> there we go. The Nutty Irishman is hey, we're you, going. We should make that cocktail eventually. We should. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a um, cocktail out of that. So what you want to do is you want to pour or make your six ounce, sorry, eight ounce um, Keurig coffee. Remember when you put these in the Keurig, you want to put it on the lowest setting. Otherwise you will have a huge mess. So you're on gonna, eight ounce. On eight ounce. Not the lowest setting. They may have four ounces so then it's higher proof. Oh really? They have four ounces? Ours has eight. I don't well, know. I've only seen them on eight. They do have a four ounce. I have no audience idea. member saying yes. It's, oh, yeah. So you okay, want to put yes. it on the eight ounce or <laughs> possibly the six ounce. I think that uh, I read six ounce somewhere, but you want to put it on the lowest setting so you don't overfill it. This I think is, you were mistaken the fact that you put eight ounces in a six ounce cup and spilled it earlier. I did. Well, I didn't spill it, but I made one at eight ounce and it went to the very top. And so I had and it. And spilled over because we could see it spilled around the cup. Just trying to cover up, man. Yeah, Just conspiracies. This, this is the mint patty, and I didn't spill this one. I didn't spill that one. He's just being a dork. All right, so what we want to do is um, add a half ounce of Irish cream. We're using Amara's um, Irish. Do you want a half ounce or three quarters this time? We'll do three quarters. Because we're unsure of how much will yeah. fit in the cup. We did a half ounce on a test one that my wife is drinking over there. So a half ounce of Irish cream, you can do Bailey's, we're using Amara's, you can use Caroline's, something like that, or three quarters ounce, or even an ounce if you have a bigger cup. Uh, you want to do the same with a hazelnut liqueur. We're actually using a hazelnut cream from Conley's. Um, so a three quarter ounce or one ounce if you can do it. What'd you do? Three quarters? Three quarters. Okay. So that's a hazelnut uh, liqueur. We're using a hazelnut cream from Conley's. And then a half ounce of Irish whiskey. If you want it, you already have your um, whiskey and vodka in these, um, but we're using Slane Irish whiskey just to give it a little punch and to keep it at a 75 proof because we've added um, some other things to it. This is an end of night whiskey. Whoa, audience member with her phone out. It's usually you. No, 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 yeah. it's usually Bernie. No, it's usually you. Okay, next you wanna top it with some cream, um, like a whole cream. So we're gonna make our own uh, cream uh, topping. You can use like the spray bottle cream or um, our spray bottle whipped cream or stuff, but we're gonna make a, a cream topping. So you're gonna take um, whole cream and pour it in a thing. We already have some in there, so just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you take whole cream, put it in your um, shaker, add and a little sugar. Yeah, sugar. <laughs> it's sugar. Two it's... spoons of cocaine. No, it's powdered sugar. <laughs> and 
and then just give it a really good shake um, for a while and you'll feel a difference as it thickens up. Whole cream, when you shake it, um, will thicken dramatically. I have a bottle or a container of um, whole cream in my refrigerator at work for coffee and somebody keeps shaking it. So now I have a bottle of sludge. No. <laughs> All right. And then you're just going to spoon it over the top. It's fine. It's nice and thick. It's expanded. Are you not going to spoon it? Cody's been working a lot today in the heat, so his brain doesn't work. Oh, uh, yeah. It makes it just a bit too much. Here, let's do something slightly different. Take the lid off? Yeah. Can put it in here. Oh. He's a mess. If it's not too thick, you can uh, pour it. Pour it. But it was already partially mixed, and I mixed it just a bit too much. And if you do it lightly, the cream starts. Uh... <laughs> okay. So that's how you make homemade um, whip topping. Is <laughs> easy enough. And so I have a mint nutty. Irishman. Oh, I smells the cream. Oh, wow. That's really good. I got cream all in my beard, don't I? My wife's laughing at me. I have drywall in my beard. I really like that. I think a combination of the Irish coffee with extra um, Irish whiskey and then the creams in there and of course the whipped cream on top makes us a really the nice Irish coffee sugar <laughs> um, and mine's got a little uh, mint twist to it because I'm using the mint patty Very good. I do I like it um, tell us what um, cocktail you should do when you just stop <laughs> Uh, tell us what um, cocktail you would make out of the cask and kettle. And like I say, they have a, a couple different um, drink recipes as well as food recipes on their webpage. You can check those out. Um, and they have many more, um, I think, four more variations or flavors of the cask and kettle. So you can check those out. Um, but make sure you leave a comment below of how you would um, turn these into a cocktail. Uh, one of the things that we were definitely wanting to try, which we will, may not air it, but we want to try the um, the coffee uh, Long Island. The coffee Long Island looked really good. We'll see how to make that in these. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great Friday. Um, wonderful weekend. It's not too hot for you, but get some rest and relaxation. And... Uh, Make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Um, leave comments about Cody. And also check out all of our other videos Monday through Saturday. Tomorrow we have a great um, distillery spotlight. A great distillery spotlight on Anchor Distillery in Fort Worth. So make sure you check that out. And then we'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Cheers. You haven't even tried your coffee yet. I did. Oh. I drink more than you.